Hi, Mark Thomas with UPOL. In this second Raptor video, I'll be showing you how to properly prepare a painted surface as well as the procedure for using Raptor as a truck bed liner as well as a durable texture coating on the exterior of a fender. Remember, always use personal protection equipment that consists of latex or nitro gloves, safety glasses, a particle mask when sanding, and a respirator when spraying. Surface preparation can vary a bit depending on the substrate that you're working with, but no matter what the surface, the key to success is in the prep. In this example, step one is to use compressed air and a blowgun to remove as much loose dirt and debris as possible. Step two is to clean and degrease the surface using a solvent or water-based wax and grease remover to remove any surface contaminants. Step three is using 120 to 180 grit sandpaper on a DA to sand the surface. Use a red scuff pad to get into the valleys and the areas where the sander doesn't reach. When using a scuff pad, make sure that the area is well scuffed to ensure sufficient mechanical adhesion. If you can't sand an area well, apply Grip 4 Adhesion Promoter. Make sure that there are no shiny spots when you are finished. Some technicians will also use a nylon bed brush for this application. After you finish sanding, take the air hose and blow out the bed again. Raptor should not be sprayed over bare metal, aluminum, or galvanized surfaces. So step four is to apply Acid 8 Etch Primer directly over any bare metal areas. This provides corrosion protection and a suitable surface for Raptor to bond to. Step five is to mix the Raptor as outlined in the previous video. In this demonstration, we're using Tenable Raptor. 100 milliliters of white base coat toner is added to each bottle of Tenable Raptor base. Step six, the final step is attaching the gun, adjusting the air pressure, and applying the material. Keep the gun between 24 and 32 inches from the surface and use a sweeping motion to apply the Raptor. Be sure to keep the gun moving so that you don't get any excessive material buildup in one spot. If you want to apply more than one coat, add additional texture, or even out any light spots you've seen in the first coat, allow 60 minute flash time between coats and reapply. Achieving a different look or texture is very easy. All you do is increase or decrease the distance from the surface, change the gun speed, or adjust the air pressure. As a final example, using a Gravity Feed HVLP spray gun, I'm going to apply Raptor to this fender so that you can see the types of texture that you can get. This makes a very durable, protective coating that is very popular with 4x4 ATV and off-road vehicles. In closing, Raptor is a durable truck bed liner. It's a protective exterior coating. Raptor can be tinted a variety of colors, even white. It can be sprayed, brushed, or rolled. Raptor is waterproof, UV resistant, and won't fade. Raptor reduces noise and vibration. It's chemically resistant. Easy to use, just fill, shake, and shoot. 